Hey there, this is Andrew. I'm going to blast through a few more mass mutation openings. Three, to be precise, in this case. <clears throat> Try to be somewhat quick with these. The Prowler of Hando Road. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, have to guess we're going to get Shadows here. Mm, I'm going to guess Sanctum and Star Alliance. Wow. Shadows, nothing else. Okay. Uh, we've got Saurian and Untamed along with Shadows. Um, hmm. Well, every deck wants Logos because Logos just makes everything else work ten times better. But in particular, um, <clears throat> I expect this deck is going to just... It's not going to go very fast. So we have to hope for just solid you know good cards the whole way through and then that definitely could could work um all right start off with axiom solid board clear we got a chant of hubris that's always a fun card to have console primus with a capture icon on it very appropriate we got galea tops sagittari's gaze all right could generate a little extra amber Spoils a battle, very good amber control card, like to see that. Thero Centurion with a damage pip. That could be cool to go with the Sagittarius Gaze. Ancient Power, um, that's that's solid. I like that, especially with the spoils. Um, and it has a capture icon on it, which is very good actually, because it means uh, not only do you get to ward all your things that already have capture on them have amber on them but uh, you get to assuming your opponent has at least one amber you get to capture one and then ward that creature so that's great curious Aris. i love curious Aris. i'm very happy to see that um little plinky capture so that makes curious Aris good it's going to actually likely do some work um it's really, it's a really good card to just be familiar with because uh, it definitely is a little more thinky and tricky. And so I think if you know Curious R as well, then when you run into it, uh, even if you're playing against it competitively, uh, you'll have some idea how to handle it. Dark Centurion uh, enhances with two captures. So that's, I guess, where that one came from. And decent effect here. Um... Ooh, and then an Amphora Captura. Impressive. So that with the Curious Aris is very interesting because it means that in a pinch, uh, a bonus amber or even a damage can turn into a capture, and then spreading that out across the creatures is going to result in a nice uh, use of Curious Aris as well. So um, Plinky Capture is good with Curious Aris, uh, and... Amphora Captura definitely provides that. And then we have a Monument to Primus, which allows us to move Capture the Amber around. So that's that's excellent. Uh, how many creatures do we have here? I think one, two, three, four. Four creatures. That's fairly low and a lot of good stuff to go with them. And they're decent creatures. I don't love Galea Tops, but these other three are just fine. I like them. So cool. I like that Saurian setup. That's pretty good for Mass Mutation Saurian. I think Mass Mutation Saurian is, in my book, less good than World's Clyde Saurian, but this seems like a good setup. All right, on to Shadows. We've got Dark Wave. Uh, deal, when you play it, you deal two damage to each non-mutant creature. Uh, good board control. Francis the Economist, okay. Gamgee with the capture icon, just okay. I don't, I'm not a big fan of Gamgee, but it's fine. We've got Nexus, the only artifact control we've seen so far. We could get like a reclaimed and untamed. Subtle Auto, a little bit of disruption. Two Subtle Autos, okay. Three Subtle Autos. Look out, combo decks. I mean, that's actually pretty good. Then we have Vandalize. Okay, Vandalize is also a great combo breaker. So three Subtle Autos and a Vandalize is pretty good for combo breaking. I'm happy about that. Oh, Borrow. That's actually really nice Amber Control. And um, that means even if like an opponent were to borrow Amphora Capture or something like that, we have a possibility to get it back. So, excellent. I like seeing the Borrow there. If 
we get it reclaimed as well, that could be really nice. Lucky Dice, that's a interesting artifact. I am not just not seeing much actual steel here in the shadows, so I'm hoping we get some. Um, my hopes are not great at this point. Uh, safe House with an extra damage on it, um, that's fine. What I guess you could um, you could put the subtle auto back. That that would be kind of interesting. Get to keep plinking. Um, it effectively turns Subtle Auto plus Safe House into a Subtle Mall. So that's kind of a bummer, but um, I think that's the best thing so far that I've seen. Smiling Ruth, interesting, with a damage and a draw. Um, Smiling Ruth says, Reap, if you forge the key this turn, take control of an enemy flank creature. I don't know if I've ever had that fire. Maybe once, um, but it's, it's pretty rare. But... It's a, it's a cool idea. It's just one power, even with the elusive, just seems to die a lot. Um, but that's okay. Interesting. Okay. Dark Fairy. So we're in Untamed now. Uh, Dark Fairy, decent amber generation. Not a super interesting card, but that's okay. Uh, oh, we have Fandangle with an amber. And that could make things really interesting because it means you can actually play the Smiling Ruth the turn you forge and immediately reap if the fandangles out uh lucky dice provides a way to protect the fandangle for at least a turn which might be enough because if the fandangle can't take damage then uh, there's other ways to destroy but that gives at least some protection um getting to drop gamgee and immediately reap of course makes it much much better same with these sanctum or the uh, sorry creatures so that's interesting i like the fandangle We've got Floomf, that's just fine. We've got Rapid Evolution, uh, that's great also for the Fandangle. If you can make the Fandangle big, it's more likely to stay on the board. I guess if you make the Smiling Ruth big, it's more likely to stay on the board too. Um, Console Primus might also be a good target for that. Nothing amazing so far as a target though. I mean, Dark Fairy and Floomph would be fine targets to be big because they have Skirmish and uh, Dark Fairy especially you really want to fight with. It's better than Reaping. There's our reclaim by nature. So this is serious artifact control. Having a uh, having a borrow and a reclaimed means I just do not have to worry facing artifact decks. Now I have a, a another deck I really like that has borrow with a legacy poltergeist. That's really good, and the deck has logos, so it's cycling quickly, and you actually get back into the cards here. You're gonna get these like, and you're gonna use them, and you might not see them again that game. Um, because there's just not going to be a lot of speed here. But still, it's very nice to have both a reclaimed option and borrow because uh, borrow, borrow is solid. Like, if you're playing at certain artifacts, being able to take them over to your side is incredibly good. But certain things like a Quixel Stone, uh, you might be better off deleting. And reclaimed is even better than Poltergeist because uh, it purges it. So that's quite cool. And, you know, if you don't have a good use for the safe house, you reclaim the safe house, get an extra amber, and throw damage somewhere. That's not terrible either. Ooh, Dark Harbinger. That's that's interesting. I did not expect that at this point. So um, that's going to be fun. That's a, a good Rapid Evolution target as well. Um, we've already seen... So we have six more Untamed cards to get through. We know we're going to see at least, I think, two mutations. Um, so there's going to be at least four actions in Untamed, possibly more. Aren't going to benefit from archiving here, but still could have it be pretty good. Uh, Wild Spirit with a draw icon on it. That's just fine. Uh, Unoya, uh, fun card. Um, doesn't, I never see it be a real game changer, but, um, ooh, Mercy Malcolm Queen. So getting to have it come in warded, uh, could actually be pretty good. And getting to use it twice in a turn. I mean, that actually could be okay. Got po -pixie, Post Pixies with a capture icon on it. Or, a, sorry, not a capture, a bonus amber. That's pretty good. I wonder if we're going to get a... I don't think we're going to get a Gloriana's Attendant. Oh, I think those came from the Amphora Captura. Because it has two. Yeah. Okay. Then we have Mutation of Cunning and Mutation of Fury. Cunning is the Elusive one and Fury is the Assault 3. 
And that's it. That's it for the deck. So we only got four uh, actions and untamed, but interesting creatures, uh, an upgrade, a lot of a lot of creatures and untamed, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, quite a few in shadows as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then four here. So. So that's 18 creatures total, which is slightly on the high side, but not bad, especially when we have a reclaim. So we don't totally have to worry about Quixel. We have a borrow. Things like safe house can really help. Um, so I actually think we're in pretty good shape creature wise. A lot of pips here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 bonus Amber. And then uh, that Amphora plus Curia combo is going to be quite interesting. So this seems like a pretty interesting deck. I actually think it's probably decently good. It wouldn't shock me if it's like 80 sass. Um, let me, I'll quickly put it in so I can humiliate myself with how wrong I am. Uh, 67. So wrong. <laughs> Sass doesn't like it, but um, I should give this a chance, especially um, for like a Sass bound or something like that, Sass cap. Uh, I think this probably will outperform the 67 Sass. The biggest problem it has is low speed. I mean, oh, and low creature control too. That's actually, I miss that. But six creature control is fairly low. Has enough big creatures, maybe that's okay, but that is a bit of a problem. Only decent amber control, although I think the Amphora could do pretty well here. Um, and then low speed, only half an F on speed, that which is which is quite low. That's what's I think mostly holding it back. All right, <clears throat> let's check the next one here. Devries of Thor's Castle. Definitely looking for Sanctum. I think Logos. And uh, probably Sarian. Logo Sanctum and Shadows. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, Auto Encoder. That's always a good start. Like to see that. Bot Bookton. Super good. Uh, if she stays on the board, I like Bot Bookton. Demo bot with a capture icon. This is so good. I mean, if, you, if it stays on the board, you get to reap and get auto encoder value. If it's destroyed, you steal one. It's This is a great, great card. Uh, diametric charge. Get an amber, do some damage. That's great. Eclectic inquiry, also quite good. Munchling is fine. Another Munchling. Hmm. The only thing is, and this is kind of a problem for logos it's just there's not a lot of cards i really want to discard here right so um i maybe i would like discard the other munchling to get auto encoder value but i'm very happy playing all of them three munchlings wow okay that's wow four munchlings this one with a damage all right is this going to be a dave deck not quite um <clears throat> we got an opposition research with a damage on it uh, some repaint that could be a good discard target just depending on the situation if your opponent has one or no creatures then it, it might be worth getting the archive instead or especially with munchling fighting discarding getting a value getting an amber and an archive uh cumex is fine this is a bit of a I mean, you know no no amber, no pips on it which i would prefer it be enhanced of course then we've got a group think tank uh, to round it out, that's kind of a lot of creatures. Um, one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. Seven's kind of a lot of creatures, but um, they're decent ones, so I'm not too upset about it. All right. In Sanctum, we've got Bulwark. Um, okay, being a threat on the board for sure. Burning Glare is fine. We've got Cleansing Wave. That could actually be nice, especially with some of the Plinky damage. And, yeah, interesting creatures, mid-sized creatures on the board. We've got Fangs of Gizzleheart to get rid of a big creature. Nice, because we haven't seen a really big creature yet. General Salvador giving us some capture icons. Seeker of Truth is fine. Um, nothing here I'm, like, super stoked about, though. Another Seeker of Truth. We've got Smite. That's that's good, especially, like, combine that with Seeker, because then you can get value from two creatures. Maybe, like, Smite with Seeker, and then get to use the Munchling as well. Got another Smite. That's solid. Barrister Joy, that's a great control card. Uh, bigger body on the board. Um, quite good. Ah, one stood against so many. Very happy to see that. That's interesting with the Munchling. I mean, if you have a Munchling on the board, and you can one stood against many... Uh, oh, I think it's eight creatures in Logos because there are four Munchlings. Anyway, you have a Munchling on the board. You can one stood against many, discard three other Logos cards from your hand with the auto encoder. Like at that point, you're super happy. So that could be quite cool. I'd like that better than Quixo. And then Seraphic Armor. Um, it's just fine. It's interesting. Uh, maybe you put that on the Joy to give it an extra armor. It has a capture icon. It seems fine. All right. Uh, but nothing amazing in there. Shadows, we've got Dark Wave with an extra capture on it. Francis with a capture. A lot of capture here. Wish we had a... The Scribe. Yep. Uh, look over there. Get a little steel, maybe. Another look over there. That's solid. Oh, wow. Three look over there's. Four look over... Two fours. Two quads in here. That's so interesting. All right. <laughs> and then a rad penny. Uh, that's a lot of steel. I like that. Okay. I really like that. Then we've got a boss, Zarek. Um, that's where some of the captures came from and gives things with amber on them elusive. Uh, that could be quite nice. We've got a fidget with a capture, a reckless Rizzo. Um, that's nice potential steel. Uh, a heist knight. Steal one for each friendly thief creature. Uh, we actually have, you know, one, two, three, four, five. Um, so you could potentially get value with that. And then a Sacro Thief, also a Thief. So that's pretty cool. Um, I, I think this is interesting. I don't know. I don't know what to say about this. Like, that's a lot of steel. Four look over there's and a Rad Penny. Um, so I think this probably is like a 74. The, the logos is a little weird. Nothing's quite exactly how I'd want it to be, but, um, still nevertheless interesting and decent stuff. So I'm saying 74. Sixty-eight. Wow, I'm really uh, overestimating these things today. Last one for this video. We'll see what I get. Uh, Raya Mixer, Fiefdom Lady General. Well, if there's no Sanctum in there, something went terribly wrong. Uh, then I'm looking for Untamed and Logos, I think. Uh, no Sanctum, Untamed, Star Alliance, and Dees. Um, okay, that could be that could be pretty interesting. Hoping for some good control in the Dees, and then if the Star Alliance gives good ways to go quickly, I think it could be strong. Hoping for a Fang Tooth, I think. Uh, okay, we have Imp Spectre. Interesting. We got Cinder, nice taunt, depending on what we can put behind it. Snareret is solid. 
Got another snare at this with a draw icon. Okay. Waking Nightmares. Two Waking Nightmares. A Double Doom with an Amber on it. Interesting. Got a Gleeful Mayhem. It's good board control. Double Doom is decent. Uh, Relentless Creeper, boring, no enhancements. I hate it. <laughs> Soul Fiddle, hate it. Gabos Long Arms with an Amber. Okay. A Trubaru. Interesting. We don't have a way to insta kill it, which is dangerous. Hmm. Oh, we do if the cinder's out. Then that becomes pretty good. Um, that's a lot of creatures in Dees, though. You've got Trubaru, Gabos, Relentless Creeper. Seven total creatures. But a lot of Amber, I think. Three, four, five, six, potentially. I guess that's just okay. Uh, Commander Chan, all right, potentially some good use cheating. Uh, we've got a Crewman Yorg, potentially a steal. Hadron Collision for a little board control, another one. That's just decent board control. It's not great. Three of those. Wow. Scout Pete, little deck sifting, again, not great. Subdue, a little board control, not great. We've got a Subject Kirby. Um, that helps us get stuff out to the board quicker. That could be good. Teleporter Chief Tink, uh, with a capture icon. That's fine. Get use out of other stuff. I don't know. Gabos. You could action a snareette off turn. Uh, that could potentially be good. We've got a stunner. That's, that's solid. I like to see a stunner. Um, General Order 24 with a capture on it. Okay, that could be interesting. I like it with the Kirby because it helps us get a little bit ahead of the curve in terms of having multiple houses on the board. And then um, Dino Alien. Uh, this is nice because five is big enough that the fight effect could actually fire. Um, but it's just okay. All right, let's see. In Untamed, what we get, we've got Floomph. It's fine. Another Floomph. Third Floomph. Wow. Uh, Gloriana's Attendant makes sense because of the Amber we saw. We've got a Reclaim by Nature for real artifact control. That's big. Resurgence to pull things back. Two of those. Got a Savage Clash for some board control. Um, I wish we had more board control, though. I think we don't have enough here. Lumaloo is okay. We've got Niffle Grounds. Also just okay. I don't love Niffle Grounds. Scout is an interesting one. Uh, if you have the creatures already on the board, giving them skirmish and fighting is solid, especially if you have like the Dino Alien out. Do it to that. Um, do it with Gabos or something. That could be quite good. And lastly, Umber Beast. Um, terrible. Three power, elusive skirmish. I hate it. And this one has a draw icon. Um, this just seems okay. I, this is like got to be like a 62 or something. There's just nothing compelling in here is the problem. <laughs> 64 so I underestimated this but not by much uh, makes sense yeah five and a half speed 17 C that that's actually pretty high um, but 12 e 6 a is just not super compelling um, but that's okay that happens um, this box that these came from has been a little underwhelming so far. I think the highest from the box is a 74 and we got two more to open from it. We'll see. Um, but anyway, that was, that was fun. Hope you enjoyed and that, uh, you'll get out there and forge some keys.